Speaking of nepotism, Charlotte Flair. No. Teasing a little bit of a return. You're you're so excited. No. Nope. Sarah. You no, you're not excited. I want to see it. I don't care. I want to see it. I'm I do enjoy Charlotte matches. I think she's very good and she is that star. Like she just has that star power to her. And I would like to see if we're going to have Naya have challengers and whatnot and potentially set up a Tiffy, Tiffy time, a little interaction. I'm all for it. So do you see your kind of, yeah, go, go for it. Okay. So the reason why I'm not excited about it, other than the fact that I'm just not a fan, but obviously I, I can credit her for her talent. I'm not excited about her returning to SmackDown. That's the part that I'm not excited about because the women's division on SmackDown does not need any more star power. They do not need a Charlotte Flair on that roster right now. They need a Charlotte Flair on Raw. That's what they need. So that's what I'm like not Ooh. excited about because Ooh. like they have, you know, Bianca, they have Jade, they have Bailey, they have Nia, they have Tiffany, they have Meechin. Like they don't need a Charlotte right now. Um, so I, yeah, that's what I'm not like thrilled about. I'm also not thrilled about the rumors about her, like almost immediately going after the women's title. Of course, I'm not excited about of that. Course because she is. There is like, not a women's title in this world that Charlotte doesn't love. Okay. Not all like of them. she even likes the toy ones that you walk by at Walmart, you know, like yeah. that is how it is. Happen. And so that is not exciting because it would be more fun to know she's coming back. You know, maybe there was a, a long standing feud that she had with somebody and she was coming back to like avenge that, you know, and it's like, it had nothing to do with the title. The fact that she might be coming back and immediately going after Naya is what is going like, she almost can't come back as a baby face. Like, people are going to be cheering for her because, yeah, they're excited Charlotte Flair, but they're going to get quickly sick of her if she's immediately coming back and going for the title again. Again. That's the thing. How many times has she gone away, whether due to injury, vacation, whatever, and immediately came back and the first thing she did was either won the title or was immediately going after the title? We don't need that again. So that's the part that it's like, SmackDown and immediately going after the title, count me out, bro. I'm not into it at all. So I I, I want to see her feud with Naya. If it's for the title, I don't care. Eventually, I would like to see Naya get a win. But you you intrigue me with the Raw. I do I do like the idea of her being on Raw, maybe getting into something with Rhea, um, and you know, building. Well, they that never had a division. rematch. You know. For the for from Mania, and you did say that there isn't a title that Charlotte doesn't like. She has not had the well, women's she, world title. I'm just, yeah, but yeah, I, but saying. I just mean like there's a there's quite a void because Becky's not there. So like, so there you go. Yeah, but I know that they're not going to do that because we know that Charlotte was a part of the SmackDown roster, so it makes sense. I'm not saying that it I mean, doesn't. Trades can happen. But um, yeah, I just think I'd that the trade. SmackDown women's division is like really packed, so it's just unfortunate that she's going to be coming back and then, you know, going to a, a overflowing of talent roster is just yeah. Yeah. Like Meechin just got time on TV. I want to see more I know. Meechin on screen. All right. Yeah. 